What's going on guys, it's Justin. Um, I'm just making sure I stay on schedule. I don't really have too much for you guys because the last two weeks I've been uh, just doing a lot of um, customer service, just getting everyone caught up to date with the uh, Mazda Edit software. That was a big update. Um, all my second gen guys and all my MZR customers that are 9 Sky Active, they got a big update on the software. And so a lot of people have been having issues with their software saying um, it expired. Um, and I just kind of want to show you guys what to do because I'm honestly just tired of answering the same question over and over. Um, if your software says that it has expired, your software doesn't expire. Once you buy Mazda Edit, you have it forever. So all you have to do, I'm going to show you right now, very simple. It says your Mazda Edit um, is expired. All you're going to do is type in Mazda Edit on Google, right? Just, you know, type in Mazda Edit website. It's going to come up with the Episoft website. You're going to click on that, all right? You're going to click on Mazda Edit if it's not on there already. And then you're going to go down over to Downloads. You're going to get Download, right? And I know all you guys who are uh, tuned by me, you have Mazda Edit Lite. It's the same um, download as Mazda Edit Personal. So all you're going to do is, is go to Mazda Edit Personal and re-download it. All right, I have professionals, so I have to do this when I get an update. But all you're going to do is click on Mazda Edit Personal, install it. Once you install Mazda Edit Personal, everything should work. Um, if you guys ended up in a situation, like I've said many times before, where you're in the middle of the flash and maybe like your car won't work now, it won't start, all you have to do is go back and flash your stock file. Now, in a, if it says your Mazda Edit expired, like I said, you download this software. Now, if it says your Mazda Edit keys expired, then what you're going to do is you're going to open up your software. I'm going to try to show you in here. You're going to open up your software. After it says your keys expired, hit OK. It's going to give you a new hardware fingerprint. All you have to do, if you are if you bought Mazda Edit from me personally, you send me your new hardware fingerprint and you tell me your keys expired. And then I will get you a new license key. If you didn't get it from me, don't ask me. Go to whoever you bought it from. Um, if you're not on good terms with whoever you bought it from, then you go to Epifan. You email him with your new hardware fingerprint and provide him the information of your car. Give him your name, your vehicle, your VIN number, and a new hardware fingerprint, and he'll take care of that. So that's just something I want to go over. I know this is a very short video, but I just want to get be consistent with this. Um, and like I said, the software has changed a lot. A lot of you guys, um, I there was glitches in the software. So if you have a tune for me, um, update your software. Every single person who has my, you know, a tune for me or just my data, update your software. Even if it doesn't tell you that you need the new version, go ahead and download the newest software. And after you do that, flash your stock file into your car to pretty much reset everything. And then you could put on your newest tune or wait for a new tune that I'm sending you or whoever else because there's been a lot of patches to the software and I, I, I just really can't explain to people what's going on because half the stuff I'm still trying to understand what's going on with checksum and things being wrong because there's going to be human error on my side and the software side and it's just hard for me to explain to people if, if things that are going on not not everything's in my control and I can tune two cars exactly the same but if one has a a checksum issue which is just dealt with that individual ECU um, I can't do anything the vehicles could be exactly identical um, and have a different ECU code and one could be coded correctly and the other one coded incorrectly but the way you would tune it is the same but you wouldn't get the same results because one was maybe coded incorrectly and that's just things that I'm dealing with right now, trying to get caught up and get everyone back on the same page before I start making more updates. So, um, yeah, nothing crazy today, guys. Um, just wanted to show you guys, don't ever freak out if your vehicle is not starting. Um, I haven't had a single customer with a bricked ECU. They can all be recovered. If you end up in a situation, and I've had, I have a troubleshoot video, but if you end up in a situation where the, the file doesn't complete its flash, flash stock. And then, if you have a new tune, try to reflash it. If it's still 
you know, messes up, flash talk again, and then message me or whoever you got the tune from, and we'll sort it out. That's all for today, guys. Catch you later.